been a while na din since nakapag-vlog ako. So, for today's vlog pala, ay isi-share ko sa inyo on how I met my husband. So, without further ado, simulan na natin. So, I met my husband online by dating site of Filipino Cupid. And that time, um, way back year 2015 of August, um, I was kind of um, sad that time and I really wanted someone to talk to and I really wanted myself to be happy, so for that, um, I ended up going to the internet cafe, and then, yeah, so I decided to check my email at the Filipino Cupid, and then I want, just wanted to check if there is um, someone who emailed me back, something like that, and then after that, um, there's no messages, so I just keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until I saw his profile so after i saw his profile i messaged him and then he replied actually um because that was sunday and it was his free time so we talked by skype and actually like nung nakita ko yung picture niya kasi yung picture niya kasi parang it's a long long time ago pa like as in new first impression ko sa kanya sa kanyang picture is lang strict tong lalaking to, ganun-ganun. Pero, hindi naman pala. Nung nagkausap na kami, um, very nice naman pala siya and very professional. So, yun nga, uh, nagkausap kami, nag-skype kami, and then, after noon, like, the day after na nagkausap kami is, um, nag-skype ulit kami, tapos sabi niya na mag, ano kami ng schedule on, like, kung paano kami mag-usap. Ganun. So, nag-schedule nga kami. So, gumigising ako noon. Naalala ko mga 5.30. Gumigising ako ng 5.30. Kasi that time, wala pa kasing internet cafe. Like, hindi pa. Kasi parehas ngayon na. It's very convenient na na magagawa mo siya sa bahay. Ganun, ganun. Machi-check mo yung ano mo. Yung email mo. Ganun. Pero, nung time kasi na yun, hindi pa eh. So, gumigising talaga ako ng 5.30. And then, nire-reserve ko yung isang ano, yung computer doon sa internet cafe. Nire-reserve ko talaga siya para sa amin. Kasi sabi niya, mga 6 na ako sa Pilipinas mag-ano. And then, kasi dito kasi 7 yun eh. So, yung 7 free time niya yun. So, ayun, gumigising talaga ako. Talagang effort na effort talaga ako noon. Tapos, yun. Minsan nga na naiinis na yung mga naglalaro dun sa internet cafe. Well, shout out pala kay, ano, sa auntie ko, na si auntie Gina Dapar. Kasi dun talaga ako nag -ano sa internet cafe nila. So, nireserve ko talaga yun. So, yun, nagkausap-usap kami. And then, after, like, a, one month? Ay, after one month, napag-uusap namin sa Skype. Um, yun, like, nag-decide kami na magkita kami. And, yun yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya kasi very marespeto siya ba. And, alam mo yung mas pinili niya na magkita kami sa hometown ko instead na sa malayo kami magkita. So, alam mo yun, parang na-feel ko na ah, safe tong taong to, mapagkakatiwalaan to, ganun-ganun. So, yun nga, nag-book siya ng flight niya from Japan to Cebu and from Cebu to Butuan. So, it was um, September 2015, yeah. It was September 2015. We met at Mangkasi Airport. And that time, I was 5 minutes late. And I was really um, shy to him. And, you know, afraid. Something like that. Kasi, baka sabihin niya na ini-Indian ko siya. Ganun-ganun. But, hindi. Kasi na traffic na talaga ako to go to the um, airport. So, yun nga. Naganda siya ng 5 minutes. And then, I saw him. And then, when I first saw him, alam mo yung boom, my heart went boom. Yes. <laughs> Na-feel ko yun. Oo. Yung pagkita ko sa kanya talaga ang gaan ng you know, pakiramdam ko. And syempre, kasama ko yung ano ko. Kasama ko yung um, cousin ko na si Glance. Kasi sabi niya sa akin na um, like, do not be afraid because I won't hurt you and you can bring anyone you want who you want you know, yun yung sabi niya sa akin na okay lang, 
So, yun, pinili ko yung cousin ko na si Glance na dalhin ko. So, kami tatlo yung pumunta ng Cagayan. So, after nun, kumain muna kami. And then, pumunta kami ng Cagayan. So, sa Cagayan, nag-ano kami doon, nag-whitewater river rafting kami, and then nag-zipline kami. So, yun na yung adventure namin doon, mga two days lang kami. Then, after nun, bumalik na kaagad siya ng Japan. So, and then, after nun, so, one month after na nagkita kami sa Cagayan, so, sinabi niya naman sa akin na magkita na daw kami, magkita din kami ulit, but sa Cebu naman that time. It was October 2015. Yeah. It was October 2015 na nagkita kami sa Cebu. Um, it was our second time. Yeah. So, yun nga, nag-book siya ng flight niya from Japan to Cebu and then from me from Butuan to Cebu. So, two days lang kami noon. And then we stayed at the Crimson Resort. Very recommended siya na resort kasi super nice yung accommodation nila. May relax ka talaga doon. Although, nung pagpunta kasi namin doon is bad weather. Meron typhoon. So, all our plans are cancelled. So, wala kami magawa kundi maligo na lang. Mag-enjoy na lang sa resort na yon. So, after noon, bumalik na ulit siya ng Japan. So, after noon, um, February 15, 2016, um, pumunta siya ng butuan again to meet my family. Well, na-meet niya naman si mama, pero not my whole family. So, pumunta siya sa amin, doon sa Magallanes, sa hometown namin. So, ayun, it went well naman. Sobrang ganda lang kasi, alam mo yung nakipa, nakikisama siya sa mga family and relatives ko, ganun. So, meron kami mga pa-party-party sa house. Ganun, ganun. So, and then, well, pinick up namin siya. Well, ako lang pala sa airport. Pinick up ko siya sa airport. And then, yung family ko after nun, um, pumunta din sila sa Dottis. Soon kami nag-stay sa Dottis sa, sa Butuan. And then, after nun, um, yun na, kumain kami. Siyempre, nag-enjoy. And then, the night na andun kami sa hotel, well, di na propose siya sa akin. Tapos sabi niya na, will you marry me or you want to spend the rest of my life with me? I just wanted to settle down. And he, he told me that, you know, he's ready to have a family. So, yun, simply, I said yes. And then, yeah, so, and then after that, na nag we talked that night. And then, af like, tomorrow, after that night, um, we decided to talk to my parents. Sabi niya na... We need to consult your parents first before mine. So, yun yung sabi niya. So, um, after nun, like yung mga kapatid ko, naliligo sila sa swimming pool sa baba. And then, tinawag ko sila mama at papa. And then, nag-usap-usap kami sa isang kwarto. And then, yun nga, sabi niya na, um, in takakasalan nga raw niya ako. Ganon, ganon, mga ano. Tapos, sabi naman lang mama, yes, it's, it's fun as long as, you know, we're happy and we're compatible to each other. Masaya kaming dalawa. Ganun. Wala namang problema yun. So, yun na nga. So, since okay na sa um, parents ko sa Pilipinas, so, it's time naman to consult parents here in Japan. So, the family here, um, kailangan ko silang ma-meet before our um, wedding. So, April 2016, so, nag ako ng visa for um, 15 days only, temporary visa um, para ma-settle na namin yung um, wedding namin sa Japan and para ma-consult na din yung parents niya sa Japan. So, by that time, um, we're already engaged and so, yun na lang yung ano namin na dito na lang i-consult yung parents. So, after nun, um, meron kami nag-party kami dito sa bahay. So, Tinawag lahat ng relatives niya. Ang dami niyang relatives, grabe. And sobrang hiyang-hiya ako sa sarili ko kasi eh, hindi ko sila ma... Alam mo ma-communicate. Pero it went well naman yung pakikipag-usap namin sa kanila. Like, very nice naman sila. Sobrang, you know, overwhelming yung welcome nila sa akin dito sa Japan. So, and I'm, you know, forever grateful for that. Okay. So, and then, after noon, um, 15 days na kasi yung ano ko dito yung visa ko dito sa Japan. So, ayun, nag-tour lang kami dito sa Japan after namin makonsult ang parents niya. And then, after namin, bumalik agad ako ng Pilipinas. So, March 2017 naman, fast forward, um, it's 90 days visa. So, yun na yung naganap yung aming wedding ceremony dito sa Japan um, with his friends. And, 
um, different din yung um, wedding ceremony namin with his family and relatives. So, ayan, may dalawa kaming wedding ceremony dito sa Japan. And then, after noon, um, June 2017, yes, June 2017 yun na talaga yung official na talaga na um, married na kami. Yes, pumunta kami sa City Hall at ginawa namin lahat ng mga papers and then it's okay na. And then after noon, um after 2 months, like after 2 months na kasal na kami to sa Japan, um September 2nd, 2017, naganap naman yung kasal namin sa Pilipinas. So, we had our um wedding also in the Philippines and yeah, it went well then. All my relatives and friends are there, my family. So, um, napakasaya nung araw na yun kasi nagtipon-tipon kaming lahat doon and masayang-masaya ako nakita ko sila, ganun. And then, after noon, like, the night noon, after ng reception namin is, yun na nga, um, after ng kasal kasi namin, kinabukasan, babalik na rin kami dito sa Japan eh. So, alam mo yun, hindi na ako nakapag- jamming-jamming pa ka sa kanila, nakapag, ganun. Kasi, kailangan na namin magmadali nun eh, kasi yung hotel namin, sabot one pa, and mahabang biyahe pa. Well, hindi naman mahabang biyahe, pero, alam mo yun, um, biyahe pa rin siya. So, and, yeah, like, alam mo yung feeling na, sinabi niya sa akin kasi nun, before ako, before kami na sumakay sa car, sabi niya sa akin, oh, you say goodbye to your, to your um, relatives, to your neighbors, because you won't see them, like, for one year, something like that, like, ah, alam mo yung, para akong, para akong prinsesa ba na pupunta ng somewhere, hindi naman somewhere sa Japan, of course, pa pupunta, tapos, yun na, for, sinabi niya man niya sa akin na every year, hindi makaka-uwi naman ako ng Philippines, so, for me, it was okay, you know, and it's part of that, so, yun na nga, and, after nun, tapos na yung wedding namin sa Philippines. So, bumalik na kami dito sa Japan. So, you know, and the rest is history. And I'm so happy to share it with you guys. So, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope na na-inspired kayo. Well, hindi ko naman sinasabi sa inyo na um, mag-sign in kayo sa dating site na yun. Na labag sa kalooban nyo. Siyempre, maganda din yung, alam mo yun, yung free will mo talaga and na deserve na ano ano yun na gustong gusto mo na makahanap ng you know deserving for you the man the right man for you alam mo yun destined para sa iyo well makakahanap ka naman talaga kung totoo mo seryoso ka talaga kung yun talaga yung hinahanap mo na true love de ba so yun yun well please be careful pa din kasi hindi naman kasi lahat na okay and hindi naman kasi okay yun na basta-basta ka na lang kasi makikipagkita sa isang tao hindi mo naman kilala so well kinakailangan mo munang kilala niyo yung isang tao na gusto mo ma-meet ma ba kasi importante din yun okay and then kasi ako noon kasi nung una ko palang pagkita sa asawa ko una ko pa lang siya nakita sobrang gaana ng loob ko and then sinabi ko talaga sa sarili ko na siya na and yeah Siya palaga. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye-bye!